Hindi cinema. Uh, for me to limit them to just my work would be actually taking away from the brilliance of so many magnificent characters of Hindi cinema and Indian cinema. Okay, uh, another person from over here. Uh, uh, yes. Hi. Um, thank you for coming to Boston. And my name is Lata Mangipudi, and I'm a state rep from New Hampshire. Hi. I love your movie. Um, my name is Khan. Thank I'm a speech you. pathologist by training, so that resonated very well with me. Thank you. I would like to invite you to come to New Hampshire with your interest in politics. Come and do a movie, first in the nation primary, and all the theatrics and drama that we have in New Hampshire. Perfect weekend. You'll have to work on the story on the way back. Okay, uh, so that wasn't a question, that was an invitation. <laughs> yes. I love that, thank you. <laughs> I, I wish that happens to me all the time. I only get spoken with, never invited. All right, I will come, ma'am. Thank you so much for, for, for the fact, and, and I appreciate your, your, your feedback on My Name is Khan. Thank you. Okay, over here again. Hi, my name is Preet Garcha from MIT. Can you hear me? Make, sure, uh, make sure you speak into the mic, or make sure it's turned on. Uh, my name is Preet Garcha. I'm from MIT. Hi. Okay, this is working now. Uh, my question is not as lighthearted. Um, oh, my no. question is, we have a lot of the biggest stars uh, in the Bollywood industry, they're all Muslims, but since the, the audience is Hindu majority, they're always portraying characters like Raj and Rahul and never Imran or Azam. So is it possible, would you be interested in making a movie where, uh, where the actor has a Muslim name, maybe the actress is Hindu, and there's no issue in them dating, where it's not the uh, main, it's not like My Name is Khan, where that's the whole story. It's not the demand of the story. So I'm going to reveal something today to you. Um, uh, uh, about my next film, Edel Hai Mushkil, and this is not a marketing plug, it's just a okay. because it's way in October. It His name is Ayan, and he is Hindu in the film, and she's Alize, and she's okay. Muslim, and there is no conflict in their love story. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, um, up the top here. So, uh, here. Um, <laughs> Karan, up. up. In that gentleman. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Hello, hi, my name is Aditya. I'm from Nepal. We watch your movies there as well. We love it. Thank You're you. invited. We've been there for a few hundred years. We'll be there for oh, a few more hundred years. So you can uh, come anytime. Now my all I need is some, someone to make a pass at me and then my visit will be complete. <laughs> <laughs> my question is around this phase that um, the Hindi film industry is going through. And a lot of people within the industry are calling this a golden age with the kind of scripts that are coming up. And I think a similar phase, a lot of people say, was back in the 50s, 50s. with Satyajit Ray, Apu Trilogy, or Raj Kapoor. But coming to the 80s, 90s, again, it became very formulaic. A lot of people outside India stopped watching Hindi movies. What do you think that the film industry needs to do now to make sure that something like that doesn't happen? and that Hindi films continue to be reachable to the world outside India? I think, which I've said on various platforms, uh, sir, that the most important thing for us to do as a film fraternity is to empower our writers. We do not empower our writers. You know, the fact that the golden uh, period of cinema, we are very far away from it. Let me just tell you the brilliance of uh, Guru Dutt, uh, the early brush strokes of Raj Kapoor, the absolutely magnificence of K. Asif, uh, Bimal Roy, the social relevance that he projected on celluloid. We are nowhere close to that kind of storytelling, that kind of image building, that kind of visual magnificence. We're nowhere close to it. That's because we have the technology, we have the wherewithal, but we don't have the writing talent because we don't empower our writers. We need to pay them much more. We need to give them that, that sense of power, that sense of entitlement, which we don't. It becomes all about the movie star in our country, and that is not the right way forward. If we want our cinema to progress and go beyond its limit, then we have to empower the writer, then the director, and then the movie star in that order. And we do it all wrong. Our food chain is all wrong. And that's why our films suffer. When our focus becomes the movie star, content fails. And we need to kind of go beyond that and push the envelope creatively. Uh, yes, up, uh, Karan up here now, and upstairs again. Hi. Hi, Karan. I am Sunil Dixit. Uh, this is, I don't think it's a lighthearted question. Uh, it's a Firstly, question on How Kash old are you, Sunil? <laughs> Give your guess. Uh, you look 13, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm 10 okay. years older. Suddenly I felt I was talking to Darshil from Tare Zameen. Go ahead, sorry. I'm trying to answer your question. And uh, what are your views on casting couches? We just heard an interview from Ranveer Singh. And what did he say? 
I'm sure you watched it. No, I haven't. I've been out of the country, but I really want to know what he said. I mean, I don't remember what he said exactly, but he explained what casting couches exactly are. So what are your views on it? And if they exist, how do they work? Look, I have a couch in my office. I have many Good couches. Start. I have many couches, but nothing happens on that couch. Barring people just come and sit there before the meeting. And so I, I am sure I've heard of the phenomenon and I know what you're implying. Uh, I, I mean, I don't think anything, uh, any, if anyone has to make their way through that route, it's not a career to talk about. And it's not something that ever gets validated. Where I come from, the people I know, the people I know who have worked hard to get where they have in cinema, it's certainly not through a couch. Uh, talent has to account for something and I think that we sometimes underestimate the power of talent even in our own cinema. It's certainly, I don't know what Ranbir had to say and I'm sure he probably resonated what I have said. Yes, there's a couch, uh, but it's not to cast in, it's to sit on. Definitely. Okay, over here again. Hi Karan, my name is Tanvi and I'm a student at the Kennedy School. Hi Tanvi. Uh, I think it's safe to say that you've sort of influenced a large part of how I look at the world. Uh, you also grew up watching my movies? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, and I think... Kill me somebody. Huh? <laughs> uh, on a more serious note though, just looking at how much Bollywood influences the people in our country and worldwide, right. do you think a movie like Dostana should have been made? Uh, I, you know, uh, to answer your question, I have been asked that and there's been uh, some praise and, and uh, lots of criticism on a film like Dostana. What I, I, I say in defense, and let me tell you, I'm the first one to apologize uh, if I have, feel, feel I've done something wrong. I felt that the only way to address the topic of homosexuality at that point, if I took the serious route, it would not get the eyeballs. I felt that when I did make the film, yes, it was stereotypical and I wish I could go back in time and change some of that. But what it did is, and I swear I can show you evidence of the kind of emails and letters and feedback that I got from kids who actually said we brought the topic of homosexuality at least in a drawing room and a discussion level for people who were clueless. I mean, who didn't even know what about the concept meant. At least you could talk about it in modern and urban India. Younger kids who perhaps wanted to come out to their parents and wanted to say it. At least now, slightly older members of you know the, the third generation would know what homosexuality is, what a gay the word gay represents. Yes, Tostana was stereotypical. Yes, I do agree that perhaps the presentation of some of it is, should have been curtailed and petered down. And I do apologize, um, whether on this platform, and I've spoken even in other platforms, but what I don't apologize for is the fact that I decided to make Dostana, because I believe that that's what put the concept out there. And I did try to even address it in a film, that, in an omnibus film that I directed called Bombay Talkies. And uh, for me, I believe in the freedom of expression. I believe in the freedom of sexuality and I believe that we must empower ourselves and I believe that Article 377 is up again uh, for a five panel discussion that will hopefully the judiciary does abolish uh, because I believe that there, that is the way forward for humanity, not just sexuality. Um, uh, sorry, Karun, didn't you sort of push the envelope a little bit with Kalho Naho as well in that yes. regard? I mean, I felt that that was an important thing. I have addressed well. it in 2003, even yeah. in 2008 with Dostana. Yeah. As a filmmaking studio stroke production house, I've done what it has. But of course, the lady has a point, uh, because there was a certain level of stereotypical um, presentation. But it was the only way I felt that like we took the route of comedy to just mm -hmm. bring home the concept mm -hmm. of it. And I think that was, today we may not really realize it, or you may not realize it, or nobody else may not realize it, but Dostana perhaps was the beginning of some kind of movement in that direction. Today when we see a film like Aligarh, which I've seen and I, I really think all of you should see it, it's a beautiful, brilliant, brave film. Many such films like that, you know, on the LGBT topic, which are being made, are now being made because there's a certain awareness and empowerment that the fraternity has to tell that story. Perhaps Dostana opened that door. Mm. We never know. Mm. Thank you. Um, on this side again. Hi. Yeah. Uh, good evening, Karan. Hi, Karan. Hi. Where am I looking? Hi. Here we go. Oh, we have... Okay. Okay. Hi. My name is Nirav. Hi. I'm a student. Uh, firstly, this one would go to Richard. Uh, should we expect a rapid fire round at the end of the session? Mm. There's no hamper. You do it. Why, why, you, why should the onus be on Richard? You can do it. Okay, sure. No, I have, I have a follow-up question oh. like, on a more serious note regarding to the conference to go with the Ivy League standards. So, like, uh, according to the recent trends, like, you must have seen a lot of Bollywood actors coming to Hollywood, like Vipika in Triple X, like, she's expected, Priyanka in Contigo, Bachchan right. Sabe in uh, Great Gatsby. Right. So, what do you have to say, like, of the, like, a center point where we're reaching where, like, Bollywood and Hollywood, like, we see Hollywood actors having a better, like, a larger stance in Bollywood as well. Like, do you see it in the years to come? And, like, 
No. Uh, I, I don't think okay. that they could do very much in our cinema okay. uh, for obvious reasons, uh, culturally, etc. Um, uh, but I think it's great that there are many more eyeballs for our actors. I think I'm, I'm very proud of Deepika and Priyanka and you know everyone who's actually making a mark. It just means that as a brand, they're enhancing their brand value and they're taking it across. They're just more eyeballs to that talent and I think that's fantastic. And I still feel like you know they're great actors and will continue to do great work in our fraternity. Uh, but the the fact that the world knows them now and our larger platform just makes me feel very proud of their achievement. And I think more power to them and more power to many more actors who will find a place. Irfan Khan, for example, has done so much work, great work. Tabu has done so much work. Um, uh, Nawaz has done so much work. I mean, there's been there's amazing talent in our country. And, and I hope the West opens their doors, not because they're the West and they're meant to be the the uh, supposedly superior filmmaking force, but because they should, everyone should realize that you know there are Indian actors and Pakistani actors and so many Asian actors that are brilliant and need to be on a world platform to uh, to show their expertise. Okay, okay. Uh, upstairs. Again. Hi, hi, Karan. Um, Anif. Uh, I'm pursuing my masters from New York University in computer science. I'm your biggest fan. Biggest one's <laughs> biggest. I, uh, more, uh, there's no other adjective for that. There, I told you I was waiting for someone to make a pass. He's <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> if Go I ahead. speak rubbish, you forgive me because I'm totally starstruck right now. Uh, what happened? Uh, the main intention coming uh, for coming to Harvard is seeing you and meeting you. Right. Uh, what happened? Uh, uh, after completing my bachelor's in engineering. Uh, my parents asked me that, uh, like, what you want to do next. I told them I want to be a current <laughs> So they, uh, so they you told want to be me that. Oh, current <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want to be current.